Hey guys, so till now we, we saw IPython shell um, and how to work in IPython shell. But then in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to use Jupyter Notebook. I know we looked at it previously, uh, just, just for a brief moment, uh, how Jupyter Notebook works and how it looks. But in this lecture, I'm going to specifically cover Jupyter Notebook. So you guys are comfortable using it in this course, because that's what we're going to be using it for writing our code for the most part. Uh, so to start a Jupyter Notebook, it's pretty easy. Go to a terminal or command prompt on Windows. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to be using a terminal, which is this guy here. You can always look for terminal by typing um, in your uh, in your finder a spotlight search. Um, so I have my terminal open here. So to start my Jupyter Notebook, I just type in Jupyter Notebook and just press Enter. It's going to open up. Um, Jupyter Notebook in my browser here, which I'm gonna show you guys here. Uh, this guy is gonna resize it so you guys know what's going on. And I'm just gonna, this guy can be in the background. As you can see, uh, my Jupyter Notebook is running right now. Uh, and this is all the process, system process for running the Jupyter Notebook. So let's come back here. But this is what we're gonna be focusing on. So this is how a Jupyter Notebook looks, right? Um, you want to start a new uh, notebook what you do is you come here on the name on the new tab just just select any anything you want like for example let's just select um this guy here python 3 and it's going to be python 3 notebook right uh you can change the name of the notebook here you can you can type in uh, ds bootcamp demo one right uh, rename it and that's there you go you have a new name for this notebook now um, and these things are called cells uh, in the notebook and you can type in anything here you can type in print just a regular python stuff right uh, type in hello world and you can come here and press run and it's going to run it right um, this guy here run I mean, if, you, if you're typing in a lot of commands in, one, in these cells, right, one plus one equals, and then you run it again, uh, it gives you two. But the, I think the easiest way to run this is shift enter. So on your keyboard, press shift and then press enter. So print um, test. And I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, on my keyboard, I'm gonna press shift and enter. And there you go, it runs it directly. Instead of going there again and again, it's it's kind of tedious process, right? I'm just gonna do shift enter and that's it. And by the way, sometimes you might see this out here and this we don't have out here because the thing is when you when you use print, you don't see this out thing. Uh, when you're not using print and you're just doing a regular shell stuff, um, the, um, then you see this out here on the left. If you know, so just to show you, do print, shift enter, and there you go, we don't have any out anymore here on the left, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, some more things I wanna show you here. This is the file tab, right? Come back, come here. You wanna, you wanna save your notebook, you can do save as, or you can also do save and checkpoint. So that will actually create a checkpoint and save this notebook on your system or in, in the directory that you're running in, right? Um, you can also export this notebook, by the way. So to do that, you do, uh, you come here and then you do download as so to download this this whole notebook as or export this notebook as a Python file a regular Python file you can just click here and it's going to export this notebook into regular Python script dot py that's the Python extension right so that's how you're going to ex export or download this notebook into any format that's specified in HTML MD is a markdown um, uh, um, uh, which is a markdown extension and the python uh, pdf whatever it is just just click just come here and uh, uh, click on that then again if you look at some help look for some help here you're just going to click on the help tab um, you can you can check the about section here that will give you all the information about this notebook the version stuff like that <laughs> Uh, let's come back here again and you can if you look at the keyboard shortcuts that you can use in the notebook just click on this guy you can scroll it down and yeah um, that's pretty much it guys as far as using the notebook is concerned did I miss anything 
as you can see this thing here in python 3 this means it's running on the kernel uh, python python 3 by the way uh, sometimes what happens is you're writing code and your code gets stuck because it's like an infinite loop or whatever is going on uh, you're writing a function while true whatever and it just gets stuck it's not stopping right so to do that to interrupt your notebook what you can do is you can go to kernel and you can just do restart and clear output or restart you can just restart your kernel and everything is going to be fine um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys that's just an overview of Jupyter notebook hopefully this makes sense to you guys um, if you have any questions just ask me i'm always there to help you guys out thank you so much for watching